What is up? A welcome back. <laughs> do you like to do a little to make it? So do we. And we have a new video each week. This, this is Tesco Tuesday. Yeah. <laughs> Trying to keep my arms down, you know. You know, Garrett, he gets hate for it. I was getting some more hate from my arms. They're making somebody nauseous. So, uh, <laughs> thought I'd help everybody with their sick. sickness. Yeah. Is this the one I'm doing today? Yeah, well, yeah. you have, I have a two version. versions. Yeah. yeah. So, it's not a test cut. Kim couldn't wait. <laughs> well. Well, I need to prepare for our March craft show, so I just go, went ahead and started painting these, and I'm going to TikTok them, um, but I can see this them. one. I had a couple of options for color schemes on that one. I had a little redo, you can Do see. and redo? Yeah. That's what so, I tell, well, that's why I tell people to come to the workshops. It's just paint. You, you can, can always, always paint, paint over paint it. paint over it. That's right. So I did a couple of color schemes. Actually, Sarah did this one for me. I think it looks nice. And then I did the black and pink. I like the black and pink. Yeah, I do too. Um, but you're going to do a different one today. You're going to do... See. I'm doing this. Yeah, you're going to do a third color. New. I'm going for the third one. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we're going to have a little... Uh... So, let's see if it pops up there. So, this one is lime green and pink. So, hopefully, it's maybe just a little bit brighter, a little more springier. 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 It's a little more springier in the steps. And then mine is a new Rain Boots version. Um, I've got a distressed backer on here. And then I took the flowers, or Garrett did actually, took the flowers from the cowboy boots, put them on the Rain Boots, and it should say Welcome Spring. Um, and then I think I'm gonna do this kind of in a minty color. Did we decide that we weren't for this test kit? I'm not gonna do it with a distressed backer so we can see the difference, right? Yeah, well, he's using the saw. That's okay. How much can you guys hear the saw? You tell me, out in the um, shop. I don't know. I mean, it doesn't really take that much more time. Oh, it does. Well, I want to compare. Because you have to do the, you have to do the stain first. You know, I think I'm going to do it in an antique white, and leave this white and see what it does. All right, yeah. Just a little compare. Oh, we can always come back in with wax if it looks too boring. Did you show the one I was doing? Yeah. I did. I did. All right, I see we've got, a, I said hi to a bunch of folks before I logged on. Uh, what's that? They can barely hear it. Oh, good. Thanks, Jason. Thank you, Sandra. Mm -hmm. Yes, if you're here, please give us a thumbs up and a like. Or, yeah, thumbs up and a like. I was like, what platform am I on? <laughs> thumbs up and a like. Uh, let us know. The same thing. Let us know that you're there. Um, it helps us out. Say hi. Hi, Laura. Give us a hi. Give us a hi in the comments. <laughs> Let yourself be known. So today we have Sarah here watching. Yeah, you can help can you me see in, the case comments? I, in case I miss something. Cause Does it say all comments or chat? Uh, it's, oh, it's top. Top. Yeah. So now you, top chat? You want to see them all. Live chat? Yeah, and if you don't have all of them, all on, right, go ahead and go to the top oh, and click B on the B said live my chat. favorite couple. Thank you, B. Yeah, you're just seeing top also. Top messages. What's the difference? I don't know. Tell Garrett to wave his arms. I'm showering the shower. Oh, yeah. messages. Oh, yeah, I showered. <laughs> 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 but, uh,. I was getting like a lot of hate. Like I really calmed my arms down, I feel like. And now people are uh, coming back with the hate. I told Tanner, don't bother editing it out. You won't be able to do it. Oh, Punchy has to head out, but she wanted, oh. She loves the new designs and she wanted oh, to see punchy. them, I think. Teach us how to do the backer distressed. Bob, I did a couple of test cut Tuesdays. Oh, well oh. that's funny. It's funny that you mentioned that, Bob. Yeah, and I will. How about that? You yeah. want to tell them what our Friday video is going to be? Go right ahead. It's Wait. our five favorite. <laughs> <laughs> it's our five favorite paint techniques. Yeah. So Bob, check us out on Friday. Um, we're going to show you all five of our favorite paint techniques. So, and this is one of them. Just five. But this is a good example of how you can use it for a, a sign backer. 
Uh, Kirsten. I see Griselle. Kirsten <laughs> and Haley and Matt and Jason. Oh, hi, Helen. Thanks for popping in for just a moment. I do appreciate it. Yeah, hey, Helen. She said she'll do the rewatch. Helen, we well, gotta figure to this out. Well, talk to us the rewatch. We gotta, yeah, we gotta figure this yeah. out because I, I hate doing Tesco Tuesday without you. Just pretend you know we're gonna respond. I mean, you know what we're gonna respond. And hi, Jennifer. All right, Tried I guess I can get you started. Yeah, I'm getting started. I'm, getting, Just it I'm breaking oh, mine. Karma. Hold on, let's see if I can pick it up without. No, over. no, you're yeah, gonna break it. Watch your face. <laughs> Oh, that was good. Very good. Hacky sack days. It's from my hacky sack. I didn't have hacky sack days. Hi, Carol. Okay. Okay. Okay, okay. okay. Pure okay. white. I got pure white. I'm going to put your little pieces right down here. Yeah. What's the overhead looking like? Um, I can't see the bottom of Kim's sign. There you go. Oh, you got to work out there. Arms extended. <laughs> Oof. Oof. Yeah. Oh, yeah, you can barely see it right there. Oh, long arms. All right. And, well, I mean, that could be pushed it's out this a one. wee bit. Oh, that one? Yeah. Or that one? Even well, that one did. could be pushed out a wee bit. Well, I was trying to keep our. Oh, he's trying to hide our tummy. So that's funny. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, babe. Always looking out. Sure. It was for you. <laughs> Garrett got clever and moved all of oh. our paints into here yeah. except for the antique white so maybe no, I'll I, just do pure. No. You mean this one right here? Yeah! Look at that. I need to go pl play one of those uh, um, and claw plates. And crane. Oh, Sarah, can you go grab some plates? Yes, I can. Because I'm doing, because my backer is shiplapped, I can't just squirt paint right on the, oh, for yours, uh, yeah, uh, you're, good. Huh? you're good, you're what? good, you're good. The other one is actually a top and a bottom, like you're two different colors, so I didn't want you to go, but this one's all white backer. All white backer. So you don't want to just squirt paint right on here or it'll get down in the shiplap lines, which could be fine as long as you fill them all in, but if you don't want them filled in at all, then you're going to want to put your paint on a plate and then roll with a, on a sponge plate. lightly. On a plate. So... What are you guys up to? How cold did it get? It got crazy cold. It was like 7 the other morning when I woke up. And that's crazy cold for that's us. That's crazy cold for us. I did not want to get out of bed. Well, I did want to get out of bed. I didn't want to go outside. But we did. We had to do a workshop. Do you want to ask if anyone saw your after show and your illness last week? How you had to film sick? No. Nope. <laughs> but my, my arms were still going. Sick oh, or not? Yeah, sick or not. You that was the one where you yeah. got your your hate comment. Yep. Well, my last three. It's not even the same person as giving. Oh, me I was the gonna hate. say it's the same person. Unless they're changing their screen name, <laughs> Helen. Cut it out. <laughs> wow. We lost Candace. What? The, I miss yeah, Candace. Candace. What happened to Candace? Well, hey, everybody. Does 6 p.m. work out better, or does 4 p.m. work out better? Because, again, if you didn't see our Patreon video this week, our after show video, it wasn't Kim and Garrett after dark. Kim thought it looked too dark. We looked scary like we were, <laughs> <laughs> like we were sitting around a uh, campfire, and I should be holding the flashlight underneath my chin telling a ghost story. <gasps> oh, my God, we could do that. We could totally do that. We'll save that for the summertime. Okay, anyway, okay. back to what I was saying. I miss doing the lives. I miss chit-chatting with everybody, interacting with everybody. I got a little choked up during the after show, but <laughs> <laughs> yeah, does real four o'clock work better or six o'clock work better for you guys? Four o'clock Eastern Standard Time, or so. What I think he's saying is yeah. he's going to try. We're going to try and do these weekly, and if there's a busy week, <laughs> just know. I caught it. <laughs> just know that we'll have something else we'll just film something quick that we can put up for our Tuesday video if we can't go live yeah right yeah but I'd rather go live and maybe we're not painting a, a sign maybe we're just hanging out me you maybe Kim will be here I don't know <laughs> Bonnie says I love six I'm just getting out of work at four. Oh. Yeah, 
five. Well, I like five. Does five work? Four, three, three two, six. Yeah. Well, what about Helen? So Helen can't do it at six o'clock our times because what time is it? She's got gymnastics now. Yeah, but what time is well, that for Helen, her? Four o'clock. So if we do it one hour earlier really? at five o'clock, well, maybe that'll work for her too. I don't know time zones. Here's how I know time zones. My phone will change the time when I cross a time zone. Yeah. Right, that's it. I don't know how many hours each city is behind every other city. All right. I have one coat just You're like you. need Garrett. a second coat. Oh, yeah. What am I doing? I'm just chit-chatting. We got some temperatures, 70-ish degrees and... Oh, 70 degrees in Cali. Now you're just showing off. Or <laughs> Kara 36. says that she likes your enthusiasm. Maybe you. Negative 109? Negative 109? No. Who said that? Skin. Makes you want to go. No, it doesn't. Uh, it makes no. my blood want to freeze inside my veins. Bonnie. Bonnie? That... Wind chill at Whiteface Mountain here was negative 109. Negative 109. Like, that is what she wrote. That I wow. can't even, I can't even. I, nope. I like, don't know, I don't know how to. My nose would what, freeze nose. just breathing. Like, you can't even breathe. You can't breathe in that stuff. Carla also said don't stop moving those arms around. Like, you just don't care. I don't, I don't <laughs> care. Well, obviously I do, because I, I did calm them down. I thought I would calm them down. Well, uh, I thought I would calm them down only because this last person said it made them motion sick. And I mean, that's bad. I <laughs> didn't know they were that bad. And then somebody told me that I don't have to try to be cool on YouTube, but Sarah's standing right here. My arms are just as bad in real life. Now here's the problem. I wear my emotions on my sleeve, and I get excited a lot, <laughs> and fairly easily, like about dinner. I'm still the one that runs down the stairs at dinner time, skipping every other step and using the handrail to jump down. Well, yeah, I... feel like it's Michael Weston. Yeah. Can you guys hear Sarah? She's a, she's soft talking back there, but she's interacting with Garrett. Don't make me point a so, mic at you. I don't know if you can hear her, her commentary with him. But yes, he does run down the stairs. Yeah, I almost yelled at you. What was that last night when you did that? And I was like, if you break that handrail, I'll have to fix it. <laughs> we are well. We don't want to take the time to fix it. Yeah, that's true. We are gonna move in June. Moving in June. Back to our old house. Back to the back. But it is closer to the shop. It is a lot closer. A lot to the closer shop. to the shop. Like twenty. Five minutes closer to the shop? Yeah, 25 minutes closer to the shop. So, I don't really want to move back there, but I'm not really... Good times were had there. <laughs> I'm not really going to look for a new place. We are currently renting that place, so... Yeah, uh, we're kicking them out. Sorry. Lease is, oh, gosh, that sounds terrible. Well, I mean, I guess we're not kicking them out. The lease is up in We're not June. renewing. <laughs> So we're gonna we're gonna just move back over there for now, and then we'll decide. Because here's the weird thing for us is we've got one that the five of six is graduating in May, and we'll be out of the house, and then we just have one more, and I don't know if we should downsize or not. What you looking for? My the other half of my project. Oh, just down here. Did you guys? I knew it. What? Because I said, I'm going to put your pieces down here so that you can get to them. And you were like, great. And you put it up there. And I looked at them and I put it down below. And I didn't get a chance to say, you know, he's never going to find that. I was listening. <laughs> I just forgot. What else makes you want to ski, doesn't it? No, it doesn't, Bonnie. It yeah, does no, not. it definitely does. I used to ski. I used to not mind the uh, cold weather. And then I grew up. I matured. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes it happens. You grow up. You stop liking happens, the cold. It happens to the best of us. You no, mm -hmm. no longer want to make igloos or try to make bombs, bobsled slides. 
sledding hills don't mean the same thing. All right, you guys, I hope you can see what I'm doing here. I'm going to put all my pieces up here, but this little welcome sign comes with two outer rings here, um, but the middle one is here, so you take this one away and you, and you throw it away. You don't need that one. Whoa. You want to keep these two. You're just tossing them away like that? Like just he doesn't toss, mean anything? Toss it aside. What color is this? Is this birdhouse? Is that the dark? Aquarium. Jason Kelsey um, said, I don't mind cold weather on TV or through a window. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, it depends on how thick the window is, Jason. Yeah. Well, Jason, have you always, you're in Texas, right? You've always, have you always lived in Texas? So you don't even know anything about cold weather. Hmm. I put these here and now I can't. Gonna rethink how I did this. Was a better way. All right, it's this color. Yes. Okay. And then this is spa. <clears throat> See, I I did grow up. I grew up. I started in Alaska, Anchorage, Alaska, and then I was in Michigan, like uh, Grand Rapids and stuff, and then in the Poconos. And then New Jersey, and then like Philadelphia area. I want town. Easton. And then Virginia Beach. I, and then once I tasted like Virginia weather, I was like, wait, hold up. The whole United States doesn't get cold during the winter? That's <laughs> it. I wasn't going back. Virginia won me over with its, its nice summers and its okay winters it's okay winters <laughs> all right you have a lift so you ride a car that attached to a snow sled to see who was the last one left on mm. did it <laughs> did it did it i lived i've lived i've lived the life uh we used to tie a um a, like a water skiing rope to the back of a car and do a uh, snowboarding around the streets that was fun or you know what we used to just do it with the skateboards and stuff hold on to the cars so the snow just meant we had to use snowboards the boom mic is what? Uh, the boom mic is what? Oh. I don't know what that means when you're like, uh, tapping stuff? Oh, stop tapping stuff, Kim. Me? Yeah. I oh, was, wait. I wasn't tapping, I was taping. <laughs> <laughs> you got me. All right, wait, do I need this color anywhere else? That's it? That's the only pop of this color? And then, what color is happy? That's a green, but what green is that green? That is a lime green. Oh, is it a lime green? It is. All right. It didn't look like a lime green. I'm all in on lime green. All Question. Right. Bam, in general, that. how much of a sheet do the signs take to cut out based on a four by eight? Based on a, f at 18 inches, one fifth. Yep. At 16 inches, it's basically one sixth or one seventh. It's one seventh at 16 inches. And then, I don't know why I'm looking at you if you're looking at my hands. <laughs> <laughs> so on a four by eight sheet of MDF, at 18 inches, we can get five signs out of a board. And then if you go down to 16 inches, you can get seven signs out of a board, typically out of my cut files. I try to keep them like that. That's, if the pieces get too much or it gets too big, sometimes I'll combine pieces. So I try to keep them in that, that fifth of sheet window. Sometimes it can't be helped and the sign is so freaking cute that I can't compromise the integrity of the cuteness. <laughs> so I will go a little bit above. A little bit above. <laughs> But I'm always yelling at him. 
how big is this? How much wood is this taking up? Yeah, how much wood is this taking up? Right. Damn it, Kim, it's cute! <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna get us demonetized. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Another question? When you guys did the planter box slash sign holder, did you guys make the interchangeable signs for the front from other signs, or is there files for the smaller signs? Files. I don't know if you can hear Sarah, but somebody asked about the interchangeable planter box. Well, first, give me a comment. Can you guys hear Sarah, or does she need to yell a little bit louder? And then the question was, when we made the planter box sign with the interchangeable pieces, like the little signs on the front, did we use designs from other signs, or are those designs for the interchangeable pieces? The designs were for interchangeable pieces. I did take some of the signs and tweak them. I think like the back to school sign, I did take that and tweak it for that sign, but the other signs are files for the interchangeable piece. Did I, did I answer the question? Did I start to ramble? Yeah, I was a little confused, but of course I was moving around. So we made an interchangeable set for uh, a planter that works for both planters. Yeah. It works for both. It, you'll see interchangeable. Well, the hanging flower one. Yeah. And then they also work for the standing. Uh, the planter box. Yep. Piece. Yeah. They can hear me. Oh, but I do need to talk louder. Talk louder, Sarah. Will we tell her that in every aspect of her life? Microphone. She's a low talker. Well, she's a scared talker. You should have seen when she used to try and order her own food. I'm a scared talker. Oh my. Hey, you want me to say she you would be, the mic over there? She would be scared, speechless, and I'm like, you can do this. Just tell her you want a cheeseburger and french fries. You've got this. <laughs> yeah. It's time to start ordering yourself at like 10 years old. We haven't seen Brad for a while. Is he hibernating? We were just talking about Brad. Yes. I'm ready to do something with Brad. I want to do a clock and Brad's involved. Yeah, we want to do, that's on our list of things coming up is a clock. Although, this week is the five, the five paint techniques. Oh, I don't know what next week is. Again, it was going to be the studio wall and. Oh, I think it's going to be how to make a door round for something with the polo laser, wasn't it? I had to make a puzzle piece for one of the door rounds. Oh, right. We're going to yeah. do an interchangeable door round. I know you guys have seen them. Um, we've seen them, and so we need our own version. Well, I saw them, and I, somebody brought it to my attention, and it had magnets. And I'm like, that's great. I love the interchangeable part to it, but when you close the door, it's going to fall off. So I redesigned it. Where's the black room? I made it better. Did you use it? Or is it in the other room? I think it's in the other room. Do you want to go get it? Nope, I'll get it. I can go and run and be like the Flash. I, I can flash it. Oh, you're going to flash it? Babe, <laughs> keep it together. Scott made a planter box today and wants to do interchangeable signs. Yes, totally. I didn't do all the seasons. I have to get back to it. They're drawn on a whiteboard currently. On a whiteboard. Let's see if I don't get it sprayed in my face. So I do have the other ones, but I think there's four of them that come in the final or something. Jason is heading out. He has to take Jackson to basketball. All right, Jason, we'll catch you later. Have a good one. Keep it warm. Keep it warm. Oh, yeah. I remember doing basketball. It was so cool. Yep, old. I remember basketball. I remember sitting in the parking lot waiting for you guys to come out. Yeah. I hated that. It was boring. Lori is making the bicycle one now. She says she's so in love with it. Yeah, I like the bicycle one. Let me know what you think about the. Uh, yeah, the when uh, you guys know that how much. That was one of the ones that she was like, "This is too much, <laughs> too much." Well, Garrett loves bikes, 
And when I was like, I want to do a bicycle one, he was like, yes. That is like the sixth iteration of that one. <laughs> he was like, yes. And then I was like, well, no, not that kind of bike. You know, like the kind that would have flowers on the basket. No, and right. then he was uh -huh. like, how am I going to do these flowers? <laughs> <laughs> I already had it. I already had one mapped out. They had some dirt jumps. There was a Superman air involved. And she's like, no, uh -oh. with flowers. What are you doing over it there? It just splashed. It's yeah. out. Yeah. It's all right. Now it looks rustic. It's okay. No, I'll fix it. Hope you don't need a lot of black. No, I don't. This is more than enough. Hope you don't need a lot of black. If you guys are interested in a patriotic eagle round, Lois can send you a picture. Oh, yeah. multi-layer. Ooh, a multi-layer. Ooh. Hit me That's with it. Thing. Hit me with it, Lois. That's my thing. Anyone get the new button on your glowboards yet? No. What's the new button? Yeah. Yeah. Now you got me interested. Well, speaking of eagle. Why don't you tell them about the eagle? Oh man, we saw an eagle the other day on the <laughs> side of the road, just like hanging out on two the side of, of the Did road. Did you see two of them? Sitting there, yeah. Well, it looked like they were, sh they were battling, they were fighting. No, I'm sure they were uh, a pair. Oh, you think they were pairing up? Yes, I think they do. No, he didn't look like he was ready to I don't think down. we have eagle battles here. <laughs> we don't even have that many bald eagles here. And to see them together, I'm sure they were together. Together. You think so? I do think so. <laughs> I don't know. That was looking aggressive. Oh, uh, Layla said, yeah, she saw a multi-layer patriotic eagle. Oh, cool. Multi-layer patriotic eagle. Bonnie, tell me. Oh, here it is. Magic Canva was released today. Some have gotten it, but slow release, they said, for the week. I don't have it yet. Magic Canva. Magic Canva. Well, do you know what it is, Bonnie? Like a quick, short version of. We won't make you is it, give me all the details. Does but it connect right to Canva? I know. That's what I'm wondering. That's interesting. Yeah. It's an interesting collaboration they would have with them. Right? I mean, it makes sense. I get it. I'd do it. Hopefully, this is another way. Let me do these. A collab with Canva. Oh, eagles travel in pairs. Oh, made for life. Made for life. Yeah, yeah that's what I think. We are they eagles. Are. <laughs> I told you we're, we're eagles. eagles. Yeah. <laughs> made for life. For life. Um, for life, for sure. I guess I was thinking of we believe a Bengals sign file showed four rounds. Would that still be one sixth of sheet, or should we be doing? Oh, the Bengals one? No, nah, the Bengals one. I just got crazy with. I think it's four pieces. Oh, I don't even time. know. I don't even know how much it would take up. I didn't do the. I never cut the file. I'm gonna be honest right here. I'm gonna look you in the eye. <laughs> I'm gonna look you in the eye and tell you I did not test cut the We Believe any of the teams I just had faith that it would work like you have in your football team <laughs> that same level of faith that same level of faith so nope didn't test cut it myself honestly but there are plenty of people that did so oh yeah I saw it everywhere somebody it was it Tom Dennison cut all the layers he would be a good person to tell you how much wood it actually took up how much wood his laser could cut if his laser cut yeah he, cut just, wood. he just posted it I just saw it on our Facebook page so yeah. sometime today anyway I saw it Scott asked um, what is this the tape, tape we're using um, so this is a little tip of the day thanks for asking Scott so we do get this through Sherwin Williams we created a business account so if you're doing this a lot if you're working craft shows Make sure you set up a business account with Sherwin-Williams. I didn't need to meet any kind of minimums, but this is called Painter's Mate Green. Painter's Mate. And it's not Australian. 
with the business account, I can get this cheaper than any blue tape that I can find on Amazon. And I know you're gonna ask me how much it is a roll, but I do not remember, but I can tell you it is cheaper than any of the blue tape I can find on Amazon. And it works well for our purposes. Now, I did talk to the guy at Sherwin-Williams and another guy when yeah, I went Yeah, we worked to... with them a lot and they like just solved their problems. They came in, <laughs> saw what we did. Yeah, he came here. Asked us a, mm -hmm. a million questions. And then it was like, these are the products I feel like you should, you guys should be using. So. Yeah. So he told us the stain. Or he yeah, said, what stain, stain do you use? What stain is that? And I said, hey, oh, it's wait, a Home Depot. Hold it's on. Varathane's Briar Smoke. And he was like, well, we don't use that brand, but he custom mixed a, he did a custom mix stain color. Thanks. So they can do that too. They can custom mix stains for you. And he said, I've saved this color match, whatever formula in for your account. So if you guys need this again, um, just order it. I have it saved in your account, order the stain. And I, whatever he told me the color was. So if anybody needs that too, let me know. I could probably get you that formula. Steve Pierre asked, how is the Adobe Illustrator class coming? I saw <laughs> that. It has, it's Steve, it came to a screeching halt because um, it's not that Garrett doesn't want to do it. It just, what did you decide? Like, I think he just ended up saying, all right, because we had to decide where he's spending his time. So he was like, tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to do release snippets of the class, less like a full course and more like different paint techniques. And I think you were trying to do that. I mean, um, yeah, different, like, um, different Adobe Illustrator, um, chapters or yeah. courses or uh -huh. something, not paint techniques. I'm just, Doing two things at once. With it, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, wait, so, am I showing paint techniques? Oh, I gotta rethink everything now. Illustrator tools and tips and tools, and he would do that maybe on a test cut Tuesday or something like that. Yeah. Um, I know, Jason, we feel horrible that we haven't been able to get you that course, but um, I just haven't had the time. I thought we would have time in January, and we've well, we have been slow in January. Don't think we've been super busy. Um, <laughs> we've been busy enough that we've been focused on other things. Well, yeah, well, just different avenues. Yeah, focused on what, what could make us some money because January is a slow <laughs> month. Yeah. So we're trying to get like, um, some spots at breweries and places like that. It's more about priorities have shifted towards making connections at places like breweries, wineries, churches. Yeah, the first brewery um, event is tomorrow. And we have, as far as I know, we don't have any pre-registrations. So for this time, and I think it's because it's we just didn't time. have enough time yeah. to advertise. But they did share that there has been interest. So we'll bring a couple kits. We'll see if anyone shows up. We'll bring a couple kids, adult kids. A couple kids, kids couple kids. They see can, how it uh, goes. We'll get some footage so we can make a little uh, Facebook thing. Yeah, another little commercial for them uh, to use in their, on their social media. We did give them our, did you guys see our little paint night commercial? Oops. Garrett did such a good job with that. Oh, thanks, babe. But I, yeah, I do want to get on Patreon once a month and not necessarily teach, but just uh, do a design, do a whole sign, just talk me, talk my way through doing the entire design, making it a cut file, doing whatever I'm doing. Would that be helpful, or is that a waste of time? Should I just put clips of, this is how you do this. I did put up how you get your whole little workspace set up. I think everything else would be the darker one, right? Yes. Like, why is he orange, but he's pink? That's his beak and feet. Oh, they're orange. I see. 
Okay, Ew, I did want to show how to do these flowers. These are the same as the boots flowers, and we get quest lots of questions. So for is this, this dragon one, dragon fruit. Pardon me. Is this dragon fruit? It is. Yes. Right, thank you. That or that's going to be kind of a lighter pink. Do you like? Well, you here. This is dragon fruit, and this is exuberant pink. Oh, I'm exuberant. <laughs> So these flowers, if you guys can see, this is a base flower, and I'm not going to paint any of that. This layer here goes next, and the purpose of this layer is the bottom layer is just to so that this next layer here will sit and go over the boots. Support it. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, support it, and um, so these little branches don't break off. Yes. And then it just goes, you know, the pieces. The more pieces go in the bottom. So that's three flowers, um, three flowers and leaves. Here's just three th flowers. Then it's two flowers, one flower, and the top piece. So that's kind of how they're put together. And now I only have to paint parts, bits and pieces of it. And so I'll do that while we're here right here so that you guys can see. Are glow forges expensive? Yes, I think they're like $7,000 now. Yeah. Oof. They raised the price. So, I mean, the polar lasers, not bad. It's it's not as hand-holding as the glow forge. Because like the Glowforge will tell you like the speed and power settings for the the thing, the um, ma different materials. It'll tell you the speed and power for the different materials. Whereas the Polo Laser, you have to figure them out or maybe go find a sheet that will tell you the best speed and power settings. And once you get the camera calibrated in the Polo Laser, it's pretty good. It works similar and you can make it web based, but you do need to buy software that's $100 to run the polar laser. But that software then will take you as you upgrade. Yeah, you'll be familiar with. If you upgrade, you'll when have. When you upgrade. Yeah. <laughs> How did I. I got pink everywhere. Is that you? Nope, not me. Uh, yeah, it is you. Totally not. How did I get pink everywhere? <laughs> I didn't even use any paint. Now I have a mess. <laughs> Let me take some of these. <laughs> I work in childcare, looking to get into woodworking soon. Any tips? Uh, don't let the kids use the power tools. Tip number one. What kind of woodworking? Yeah. Building furniture, bookcases, that kind of thing. Coffee tables. Do you Which, like by the way, we kids? need a new coffee table. You guys want to watch us build a coffee table? Do you? want to work with the kids working with the wood if I knew yeah to give me a little more info and I'll give you my thoughts on that if you want to do <laughs> things with I'll a laser give you my opinion <laughs> oh yeah no problem I wouldn't try to engrave on the children I don't know if they'll fit in the bed Yeah. Waiting for it to come in. What do y'all recommend for storage, like, to sit the machine on? Um, we got some. I don't know. Can you see these tables? Let me see. No. Can you see them now? These yeah. tables here. It's like a. It's an Ultra HD. Seville Classic. Seville, yeah. Ultra HD. Seville Classic. And I think we got them at like Sam's Club. Sam's Club. I know we got them at Sam's Club. And they they're adjustable height. And that's what we put both of our Glowforge and the Polar Laser on. It fits perfect. I mean, it fits perfect. And what was it like? One hundred fifty bucks. Yes. And it's heavy duty. It's heavy. Yes, these are definitely very very nice quality. So I do highly recommend these tables. There's nothing rickety. The only thing that they there. don't have 
that you may want are shelves underneath and I see that from a lot of people I've seen some some awesome setups uh, where people have shelves underneath to put Glowforge materials uh, different boards and things so that would be nice maybe we should come up with a solution for that what a shelf underneath yeah like build our own shelf system oh okay I got ideas anybody else have a cool go Glowforge setup that they're using that they can share because right now our materials are laying elsewhere they're really not underneath of it yeah they're scattered we got an answer signs park signs etc basic craft stuff totally looking to need child care love the kids but ready to craft full time Oh, mm, yeah. Yeah. I hear you. Well, what was that? Did I have any advice or tips? Tips, yep. Tips. Tips. Make um, something, make what you love. Yeah. I mean, definitely. Do what, do what appeals to you and find people that also like what appeals to you. And then I would say get a Facebook and Instagram. Yep. That's right, right away, first thing and just start posting because nobody's going to watch or see your first couple hundred posts. So, so just don't be hesitant. Yet. Yep, just get out there, throw yourself out there, start posting even if you don't have a laser yet, just start Yeah, posting even make things. a post that says, hey, I'm starting, uh, I want to start crafting full time, I'm setting up my social media and this is my first post and then when you go to buy some new tools here's some of the tools that I'll be using or I got this new you know pocket saw or whatever um, just post all of those things and, and do it on a regular basis find, keep it, keep find it other makers and people in the craft show business or craft shows if you want to do craft shows go to them and start meeting the people see what see what else is out there because we when we first started we had to go looking for craft shows and applying at craft shows now because of word of mouth and just meeting people and talking to everybody everybody is Kim's friend everybody so just doing that and walking around at the craft shows uh, we now get invites to come to craft shows um, so that's yeah I was just telling him somebody invited us from the show we were at in Newport News last Christmas somebody emailed us and said hey we'd love to see you guys at the show but it was like four hours in and, and Newport News, which is um, two hours away, hour and 45 minutes, something like that. Mm -hmm. So it's not that far, but it was just a little far to pack up the whole get up and go for four hours. So I didn't do that one, and only because I got other things coming up too. So I think I'm going to say two cliches, <laughs> right? First cliche, cliche number one. It's not what you know, it's who you know. All right, so true. So true. In my 50 years on this planet, it's undeniable. It's not, it's not what you know, it's who you know. And then uh, number one, or that was number one, <laughs> but this is also number one. The tide for number one is, uh, oh, I forgot what it was because I was joking about it being number one now. <laughs> <laughs> uh, look. Know the, know the real Garrett. There is no luck. What was luck. I talking about? Yeah, what was I talking about? There is no luck. Luck is just when uh, preparation opportunity meets opportunity. Meets, yeah. Yep. So be prepared and meet lots of people. She said, thanks, Kim and Garrett. What a heart. Oh, you are welcome. Good luck. And now you know us. And knowing's half the battle. <laughs> Another cliche, but that's from G.I. Joe. <laughs> All right, can you guys see the flowers? Oh, we're face forward. Do you want to face down oh, the yeah. camera? Bing bong. I'm almost done. How about you? I'm oh. almost done, too. Hey, got a question? Oh, I love questions. Fire away. Do you know if you can cut faux leather for earrings on the Omtech Fuller? I've heard yes and no. I don't know what to do. Don't want to mess up the new laser. We've talked to a leather expert and manufacturer. And here is what we have been told. 
faux leather and some treated leather should not be cut in the laser at all, any laser, because it emits chlorine gas. That was really slow because I have to remember what he said. He said it on the phone like a year ago. <laughs> so, yeah, I, you can't cut faux leather or leather with a certain type of tanning. It's got to be natural tan, not chemically tan, because the chemicals have chlorine in them when they're burned, something like that. The fake stuff does. The fake stuff. So I don't know, I'm not really sure if it'll hurt your laser so much as but, poison you. But there is, uh, I did see and find in the company that we talked to, the guy, they do have leather for lasers. It's laser leather. <laughs> and then laser. after you say it, you have to say pew pew. So. <laughs> <laughs> laser leather pew pew <laughs> so that's look for that you, you google it but don't google pew pew just laser leather you get embarrassed when you say stuff like that all the time <coughs> <coughs> it's faded my embarrassment is faded I'm gonna start googling I don't know what you're doing I am Ooh, I think I need a second coat huh Oh yeah. Yes. We, yep. Yeah, that's a great yes. There you we go. We have one of those, we have, but not for that. But yeah, the Husky on wheels. It's on wheels, right? Ours is on wheels. Yep, that's another good one. That would fit perfectly. This roller is funky. I put my Glowforge on roller skates. And sometimes we race. Oh, you do. I always huh? win. Don't listen to him. Now he's off one. Crazy talk. All right, I just need one more coat on these boots. They were looking dirty. They are rain boots. Are these really are new, new rain boots. New, new boots. New boots. New blues. That's on Kim. Kim? Most of them I haven't changed out. So we've been doing this for almost a year. And I just, uh, this week actually, one of the pinks had sat, the light pink that we don't use very often. If you constantly keep painting them, you know, and you cycle through it, then you really don't have to change it out. But one of the light pinks was empty for a while, like half empty, and the paint dried on the inside and it was just leaving chips in the paint every time I squirted it. It was coming off in, the, in kind of sheets on the side of the bottle. It was a mess. And so was a, that was the first time I've actually had to clean out a bottle in a year. I think I'm going to start gluing my pieces together. Yeah, you said that. Well, I was going to start with my backer. Oh, hey, I didn't even paint my spring. What am I doing? Getting ahead of myself. T-Town T-shirt said those boots are made for walking. <laughs> and that's just what they'll do. They will. That is I mean, what they'll do. Sometimes that's what boots do. Sometimes they scoot and sometimes they boogie. <laughs> <laughs> Another question. I love questions. Keep them coming. How do you decide which projects to cut on which machine on which machine since you have several. Oh, good question. Mm, good question. It depends. Yep. Like if we have, we do wholesale orders or, or bulk orders now, we do bulk orders. So bulk orders we do on the third laser. And then orders with individual pieces we do on laser two, the middle laser. That and is then, not what they're asking at all. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and then crab show stuff gets cut on laser one. That is not at all what they're asking, but that's very funny. Now you know the order in which we use the lasers. What they're asking is, when do you use the Glowforge versus the Omtech versus the 
big lasers out back, the 100 watt lasers. Oh, my big 100 watt lasers? Only cut quarter inch MDF. That is it. That's all I feed them. <laughs> That's all they get to eat. Well, they run the business, so anything that comes in as an order, um, spa. Which is this? Oh, this one. Um, anything that comes in an order is cut back there. Pretty much anything we do for uh, our videos, because we're trying to show you how you can use those lasers, we use those lasers. Sometimes we'll cut things on the big one, but mostly if we're we that use is? those primarily for the videos that we show you yeah. that is not that actually it is that so they're this? both yes that's what i was telling you that the paint so look do you have it can you send an overhead yeah beep, boop, 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 boop. so this is the this is spa do you see how it's kind of a light blue hold the bottle up even yeah. see how these are the same this is spa we just recently had spa mixed and it came out this color. Now they are not the same color, but it is what we're using and it come, it's relatively close when it dries, but I'm kind of disappointed. Sherwin Williams. Ooh, calling them out by name. <laughs> All right. I want to custom, I need to custom mix my spring and I've got to go look up the the ratio, I've forgotten what it is. Wow, you're going deep on yours, huh? Yes. This isn't just a test cut Tuesday, y'all. This is a special test cut Tuesday. You're gonna see Kim mix a custom color live. <laughs> if I would've known this was gonna happen, I would've advertised that. Just like they would like advertise the Evil Knievel jumps. Oh, shucks. I... Tuesday, Tuesday, Tuesday. All right, well you can tell me you're the you're the paint guy. I don't have my don't little formula in front of me. Because, I want, is it because I'm Dutch? Oh my gosh. I want mint green. Mint green. Yes. I'd start with green. Okay. And then add a little bit of blue. Blue? Like oh, a, it's equal parts. What's equal parts? Oh. Blue and green? Yeah, equal parts blue and green. Which I blue? Used, I used lucky green. I would go with. And yeah, I would go with like, like a lucky green and then maybe, maybe a like a spa. Wait, why are you going so deep on a test? Whoa. Kim! <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna do spa. some spa in I there. Would... You just like forget. It. I'm gonna I'm make going. this making this happen. It's happening. I want to use a little bit of. Uh, Oh, that's cute over here. Oh, right. Can you guys see? Oh, wow. You can't even a Q-tip. Hey, that's yeah, looking minty. that's good. That's good. That's what I'm looking for. Yeah. That's minty fresh right there. Oh, now it's getting darker. Yeah. I was More say, blue. More blue. Two cc's of blue. Stat. We're losing her. Lois says, thank you for the new boot round. Ooh, uh -oh. <laughs> I need, I think I need to that. Okay. Can y'all do more Omtech Polar tutorials, pretty please? Yes, yes. Um, to, um tech Polar tutorials there on the way. With some light burn in it. So we worked Maybe with Omtech and we committed to doing 10 videos. 10. So that's kind of a lot. <sighs> Three. We've done three. Uh, so <clears> the <throat> round next week is an, a polar video. I'll show you um, a new spring door round, but we'll do it with the polar laser. And then some door tags. What do you guys think of door tags? Give me your feedback. Sound off. Door tags are so 2022. Yeah, we negotiated. Garrett and I went back and forth on whether or not we should do some door tags. Are they totally out now or not? I've I think seen we some need to cool come up ones. with something else. Like... We need to think outside of the box. We need to be the trendsetter. Yeah, okay. Like, maybe we do. Great, come up with something cool, Garrett. Mm. What do you guys think of my minty green? This is gonna be so good. What other this things exactly would you what I, want. I don't know, this is a tough one. Tags, like, I wouldn't think about putting tags on a door. They already put bows on the door. 
Yeah, well, I love how you're thinking now. When I asked you this question the other day, you're like, no, nah, no. Yeah, but now I'm waiting for paint to dry. <laughs> then I was working. Please, please do the wagon. Why, why did I, do you know that, why did you ask about the wagon? Lois? Who told you about the wagon? Did we mention the wagon? Did we mention it in our, uh, in our patron after show? I don't yeah, remember it was now. after show. Did, we did? Yeah. Because the wagon got canned at the last minute. Last the, minute The canned. wagon has been redone. And the designs are done. Yeah. And done. then last minute. I mean, test cut. I even test cutted it. Yeah, and test cut. I can go get it for you and show you. It's not painted, but. Not painted. I trimmed it. I did a version a year ago. We brought it back. I redesigned the whole thing from the bottom up. What am I doing? Look, here it is. This is a little bit different roller. It's a different color. But I think I'm going to use the same roller. Um, when are you guys releasing your paint line? Ugh. Man. Well, don't tell get you me what. started. Yeah. Tell you what happened. Who just stirred the pot? Yeah. Bob. Who was that? Bob. <laughs> I don't know. Let's ask Kim, Bob. <laughs> so, Bob. Paint line is going to be a large initial order. And now that it is January and we don't have a lot of funds coming in because Flo, I don't want to place that large order right now. And I'm saying roll we could the have dice. done it in November and December, but I was like, nope, now that funds are now that we're like like not meeting all of our minimum expenses for the month and we're dipping into what we have just a little bit but still I, i'm not ready to place that paint order now he's mad at me he's just yeah. <laughs> why didn't we do it in november yep i said we got to pull the trigger kim's always waiting well i mean that's kim's just a scaredy us. cat yeah kim analyzes everything and i like to uh, jump in and see what we got this is why we're here now. Because I jumped and Kim grabbed me by the belt and said, hold up. Slowed me down. Right. I think I'm ready to also glue. I can start with this little guy, though. Besides Lightburn, how different is the Polar and the Glowforge? Um, they're fairly similar I mean lasers a laser that's what I learned at this point but I would say they both have a camera they are both 50 watt well the pro on the glowforge is a 50 watt they um, hold on. How do these go now? they both you over here want me to talk this one here yeah, sorry. Yeah. They both have a camera. There's not a whole lot of difference. I think the the only real difference that I have is the software. that Glowforge has a couple of things that the Polar doesn't. But are they worth, what is it, $4,000? I'm not yeah. sure. So the Glowforge Pro, I would go with the Pro. Otherwise, hands down, go with the uh, Omtech. If you went with the Glowforge Pro, you have the pass-through, and I love the option of doing a full 18-inch um, round. Yep, on, using the pass-through. Yes, yeah. and it's nice that they have their Glowforge materials, and you can go buy them in Michaels, all the different materials, and they have the settings, the little QR code it scans, and it'll auto-adjust the yeah, um, auto focus. It, auto focus for yeah. you. That is really nice. Um, the Omtech Polar doesn't, but does that really matter? It's a nice to have, not a, a must have. So there's a little bit more learning curve. Yep, there's just a little more learning curve. But if you're gonna ever go to a larger laser, you're gonna have that learning curve. You're gonna need to learn that stuff anyway. So it doesn't manually focus it for you. The Omtech, you do have to kind of say, okay, you know, you do your cut test. We could show you all of that if you ever needed it. How to decide where your focus height is and then you manually change it. Um, and then you can't cut something that's larger than the bed size 
But it does have the rotary tool, which the Glowforge does not. The rotary tool. I mean, there's just pluses and minuses to everything. So I really love the fact that it has the rotary tool. That is anything. Well, it's the rotary tool and three thousand dollars less. Well, and then things with the rotary tool, cups and tumblers, and you know, all of those things are so popular right now. Um, and I would really want that rotary tool. Um, what else does it have? I don't know. I just think that, like he said, laser's a laser. What What's most important to you? You want a lot of hand-holding? Yeah, you want a lot of hand-holding? Go Glow Forge. Forge. Uh, you think you got it? You got this? You think you can figure it out? I'd say... Or are you brave enough to spend a little time figuring it out? Yeah. Because that's the way to go. Um, you'll learn so much and be able to use any laser then. And then if you really want that tumbler attachment yeah I like that tumbler attachment so is the paint an outdoor paint or regular this is an outdoor paint it's house paint same paint you'd use on your house if you wanted your house to last <laughs> it is a latex acrylic with a bunch of additives to keep your sign weather resistant fade resistant mildew. mildew resistant yep yep all those things so you don't have to seal it once you if you paint with exterior house paint like we're doing you won't have to um, go back and seal it at all and there's some talk about i wish there was a birthday round hanging on the door really? oh that's funny <laughs> Courtney's supposed to be designing that birthday round yep. as we speak. Yes, she's working on that. So that is part of the interchangeable set that we'll be making next Friday. Not this Friday, but next Friday, one of the interchangeables is going to be a birthday round. And what was so funny is she had said, oh, well, you already have a birthday round. We can just repurpose like, I that. I love the one that you guys have. Yeah, I love the one you guys have. We can repurpose that design and just make it part of the interchangeable. And Tanner and Garrett and I all were, we found out later, we're all thinking to ourselves, I don't, what is she talking about? And then later on we ask, which, which round is she talking about? And we all learned that we know we don't have a birthday round. And then she was like, oh, I, could, I totally could see it in my head. I was like, nope, we don't have a birthday round. She's like, but it was so cute. <laughs> so she's going to make that same cute round that she had seen in her head. And that's going to be part of our interchangeable. Because I also cannot believe we don't have a birthday round at this point. Birthday round, a birthday round. Queen says that your mint color is beautiful. Yeah, Thanks. I love it. I'm impressed. Can you guys see? Let me push it up a little bit more. There we go. I thought I read the OnTech Polar has a back pass through door height of point inches oh yep that is the downside of the polar but it was the downside of the basic and the pro too or the basic and the plus too is that it basically doesn't have a pass-through it's 14 inches wide and only yeah like a third of an inch thick or no less than a third less than a quarter inch thick I was gonna say quarter inch is good quarter, in, quarter inch MDF does not fit through the hole I've tried But it does have a slightly bigger cutting area than the Glowforge Basic and Plus. Yeah, oh yeah, it is a little bit bigger. That's one of their selling yeah. features too. And technically, you can pass through the front. You just have to disable something. A little switch in the back. Disable the safety switch. You didn't hear that from me. Uh, bad news on my boots. I have lost a piece of the... Yeah. I don't see it. I think it came to me missing. Oh, you think so, huh? Mm-hmm. Sabotage. Yes. 
Someone sabotaged my sign. Sab someone sabotaged my sign. Look at these boots. They're made for rain. Look at this flower set. How cool is this thing? It's like a bouquet. It's impressive, Garrett. Oh, thanks, babe. It is big. It is big. Hey, what did I do with my overlay piece? Oh, found it. How are the Z-Racks working out? It's Ooh, good up. question. The Z-Rack is holding up. It has not collapsed, and Kim actually put more signs on it. I did put a couple. I was like, well, you're holding up. Let's see. So I put a little Do something a stress else on test. it. Not on purpose, really. But I, we did buy two, and I didn't open the second one because I wasn't sure if it was going to hold up. And it's still bowed, but it's not bowed any further than it was the day we put it together. Yep. So, so I am going to put the other one together. Mm -hmm. We might not travel with them, but they're working in the warehouse. I kind of made a mess of these, so I gotta do Good a little question. bit. Good question. Who is that? Jeff McCowan. Jeff McCowan. Yeah, Jeff McCowan. McCowan, yes. McCowan, sorry. I knew Jeff. <laughs> nice job, Jeff. Good callback. Yeah, good callback. Good memory. Yeah, I'm glad you asked though, because that was um, that we weren't sure about that thing, and it actually worked out. Yeah, worked out well. I mean, I wish it wouldn't sag and it be a little more sturdy, but it's working. Anita said, "Love it. My sorority colors are pink and green." Well, then I love your sorority because this is cute. Since you downsized from 18 to 16 inch rounds, if I need them, can I get them? I previously ordered additional pieces that were meant for the 18. Help! Oh, oh yeah, yeah. You just let us know in a note section. We, we still offer the 18 if you want it. Yes, we just found that... I mean, honestly, I don't know why we, I wasn't people doing 16 the, all along. Yeah, 16 all along. We've been asked at the shows for 16s. Smaller, and then I was afraid they were going to look too small. They do not. They look just as good. I mean, I even, it depends on the round, but I can put them side by side, and you really won't even notice that one is smaller than the other. So I thought, wow. And I can cut three. I can get three out of the space that I was getting two. Um, and so it's way more affordable for us. But, but yes. if you want 18, yeah. let me know. Oh, yeah. Either e either order an email or put it in the notes section. But it's not guaranteed Jonathan will catch it in the notes section. He's getting better. He's learning. He actually saw a note today. Somebody said, can you rush this? Oh. And because things are slow right now, I, yes, we could. Because I got that rush order out today. I was like, oh, good job. Oh, good job. Somebody is just ordered uh, 20 buddy butts, bunny butts. They're yeah. cutting. They're cutting yep. right now. Working on those too. I think they're actually on all three lasers right now. If you're watching, we're working on them. And you just heard that doesn't happen. <laughs> they are specific lasers for specific tasks. You're so funny with that. You were like, laser three does this. <laughs> I thought they were trying to get into my business. I was giving out the goods. Russ said, I love the flowers, Kim. I think they would look fabulous on some hangers instead of the bows. Oh, interesting. On some hangers, what do you mean? Like, instead of adding a bow, maybe like just add a little, like, a flower thing. Oh, yeah. And I don't know if this has been asked before, but what is your go-to laser? It depends. Yeah. It you know really how it depends. is. Like when I do test cuts or I want to test something, my go to. Well, it has is, been. It was the. Uh, it was the glue forge. Mm -hmm. But because we've been using and learning and. Yeah, because I want to learn and have yeah. to learn the polar laser, my go to right now has been the polar laser. And since I got that camera dialed in, I mean, the accuracy is pretty good. Hold, hold on. Wait, it's overhead right here. 
I use the camera. Uh, where am I? I use the camera to line up this. Um, Come this way. This way. Towards you. Uh, and then forward. Keep going. Forward. Yeah. yeah. There you back, go. Back back back, 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 back to the wall. To back. You. I'm towards coming. More towards you. All right. More towards you. Yep. Okay. There. <laughs> All right. There. Yeah. That's. <laughs> I line this up with the polar laser, like all the little, the top and the two sides. So, Using the camera, it was great. It yeah. was very convenient. It worked out great. And uh, I tried to get real close to the sides. And you know, I'm not it, sure you could have done that on the big 100 watt lasers. Oh, no way. Because I, I, have, I have to red dot frame it with the big lasers. And there's no way I'd be able to do that. I'm almost done. Yeah, see. I I am done. Do you need help? No, I don't think so. Um, it's a little far away from me, so make sure I'm lining it up so you can it's help me with that. It's too far away. Is this, Sarah, is this in the shop? Towards me. Towards you? Mm -hmm. To that. Towards you. The overhead of, yeah. Towards me. Towards, Towards you. Me. There you go. Stop. Towards me a little. There's my little guy. I'm watching the delay <laughs> on my phone, so it's hard. She's got to guide me like, uh, like I'm a mechanical crane. One of those little. Are oh, you putting all the little dots on too? Hey, yeah. Do you welcome? I'm looking actually for the dot here and here, and I'm using. Oh. This is one of them. I mixed him in, oh. so these are a little bit oval shaped. Oh. Hmm. What's the difference between the glue you're using and wood glue? Which one's better? Oh, oh. is one better than the other? We use wood glue when we're gluing things to wood. Yes. But if we're gluing painted surface to painted surface or MDF to MDF, we use Starbond. Starbond seems to hold great when it's painted on painted or MDF to MDF and it dries very fast whereas it'll take like 10 minutes for wood glue and then the star bond doesn't seem to be thick enough to hold to the wood grain like on a picket whereas the wood glue kind of fills in the cracks and bonds it together with the MDF that's how it gets up a little high. Yeah, yeah what's happening here? Oh, you can't pick that up. Uh -huh. oh. Oh, making a mess. It's only because I have it pulled out ahead of me. Yeah. And not like down, but I wanted mm -hmm. you to be able to see. I let you work on that. Do we have accelerator? This piece might need some accelerator. Yeah. Well, it's down if you want to give it a minute. Just All right, this stuff it. is great. He was just asking about this accelerator. And if Bone you can't get it. MDF pieces to stick or you need them to stick right away, um, use that accelerator. A lot of times, talk about your center banner and how that... Um, oh, when I stain it? Yeah, or sometimes it just happens to be, I think because it's a little bit of an expanse, um, it warps a little and yeah. they won't lay down and so we use accelerator to hold them down yeah. or get them to they adhere quickly. But that accelerator is some potent stuff. You, sp you put the glue on one side and then accelerator on the other and then it's almost a, an instant bond. Instead of 10 to 15 seconds you have more like 3 to uh, 5 seconds. Melinda said, the flowers in a farmhouse type watering can would be so cute. Um, actually have something like that in the works. Uh, well, I guess not exactly. Oh, hey, you want to do this one? Yeah, put the glue down on there. So you have to slide it up underneath the flowers. Yeah. What? 
I was going to say, you want to put oh, the accelerator, accelerator back? No, I don't. Okay. Well, I mean, I guess I could. Here. I have, I have some seconds. Even a bribe, dry brush technique. So this is the one she just did, and that's the one she was impatient and did before the actual test cut. So do you like today's, or one or two, I guess? Which one is one? This was the first one I did, that's the second one. I think I like the chippy paint. Yeah, I think a dry brush technique would look good on that yeah. as well. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's great, but I feel like it's missing just a little something. All right, here's mine today. Laura said both are so cute. Get some of this paint out of the way. Go on now, get, get. Tyra also says both. Both, okay, both, good. yeah. And then like look at bird. yeah, look at Gary. It's a little birdhouse. I've been wanting to do one with a birdhouse on it for a while now. So this was actually a design started last year, yeah. and so was the bicycle. Yeah, so was the bicycle. And we just finished them up this year. Uh, and then I was going to say I have a couple other ideas that I'm working on that um, I really want. Well, we have one that's coming with a chicken coop. Oh yeah. Welcome to the I'm coop. I'm working on it. And I mean, the one with the cow today. face on it that says, Welcome to the Herd. I just need your approval, and then it's ready. And then I have an idea for one um, that actually has like a little flower shop. It has a little flower shop in the bike and the stuff, and I want to make it a full door round. It would be an advanced. Yeah, it'd have yeah. to be an advanced. It'd be a an advanced assembly super kit. level. It would be a super kit. Yeah, we get people when they come into the workshop, they want to know beginner, intermediate, and advanced level crafts. Sometimes I tell them, no, well, yeah. that's an advanced one. We're gonna so what was this on one, it. would you say? Oh. Mid-level? Medium? No. It's, it was easy. Mine's you just easy. need to know to how to put the flowers together, which I can tell you how. <laughs> Somebody right. was leaving for the day. Well... With we want to see you on Friday. <laughs> <laughs> so join us so we can show you some uh, some of our favorite paint techniques. We got a really cool one. I was actually impressed myself when we finished that one. It was supposed to be just for a test, all of these things, but we're going to end up... I can see them over there. Them. I can't wait to show them to you. Yeah, I can't wait for you to see the one. <laughs> the one is... The one's wow. Wow. All right, we're out of time. So we will see you on Friday where we're going to do it, build it, and make it. Actually, we're going to paint it. it. Yeah, we're doing it. We're doing, doing it. it. It's a doing it. It's done.